Hey guys, Norm with Verbal Traders. It is Wednesday, April 10th, 2019. Quick recap for today. Um, I, I did not have a good day today. Uh, despite having a green PL, uh, I traded a bunch of chop. I over traded. You'll see in a second, I kind of Christmas treed my chart. So I'm actually kind of embarrassed and, and not really wanting to do the recap, but I'm going to go ahead and do it for today. Uh, show you, you know, every once in a while, even when you're on a good run and trading cleanly, sometimes you fall back into old habits for a little bit. So um, I traded three stocks today, Apple, uh, Delta, and NVIDIA. So not necessarily in the order of my trades. I'm going to go to Apple last because that's what I traded the most. But so Delta, I tried to play a bounce off this five minute uh, moving average here at the open. And it came down and touched it, came back up, and then it looked like to me it was gonna bounce and maybe take make a run. I was wrong here. I saw it in the level two before it got to my break even. So I got a few cents on this and got out of this trade for a slight gain. Um, you know, I didn't sleep very well last night, and sometimes, at least myself, I'm a little jittery when that happens. So it, that was part of what played into this. And then NVIDIA, uh, I actually took NVIDIA both ways. This was an okay trade. Um, it had this nice run up orb at the start, consolidated touch VWAP. I saw it a little bit late because it really wasn't moving a whole lot for as much as NVIDIA does. Went ahead and took the trade right around 191.50 for the break of this. And it did, but I was not confident in the trade. I scaled out of it too quickly. I mean, this one trade here would have likely made my day. So, and I would have been done at that point. And then I later in the day tried to take, it looked like maybe this was double topped to me. So I tried to take it short, got stopped out for a small loss there. Then uh, let's go over to Apple. Apple at Christmas tree. And this is what I'm real. I was really, uh, uh, embarrassed about or, or, or not feeling great about. In addition, I had some kind of weird error that I'm still trying to figure out. Um, I took it short for a breakdown here. It looked like it was going to be weak to me and it was, it just, my timing was wrong here. I should have waited for this setup to happen a little bit more. Got stopped out of that. Tried the same thing again. And I realized I'm just trading in shop here. So finally, at this point, about 30 minutes into the open, I told the room, I'm gonna walk away, I'm gonna take a break. And I actually left the house for about half an hour. And I came back and so, you know, sometimes it's important to just clear your mind and, you know, get all the crud out of it that, that, that's making you trade poorly. I realized I was trading and chopped and I continue to do it. I had a couple of positions here that I made a partial or two and then got stopped out like this one right here where I got in, took a partial, probably should have partialed again at 200, but held on to it and then got out as it came back down toward my break even. But, you know, it just wasn't clean. And I noticed what I was doing when I was doing it. Now, six or eight months ago, I might've sat here and continued to do this all day until I either hit max loss or whatever. I think when I was through with this, um, in total, I was up like 23 cents. So I was essentially flat on the day. Uh, and then I came back and I saw Apple had made this bottom here, come back up and was testing VWAP. I took it long for a break of VWAP, got stopped out at the moving averages here. I'm okay with that trade. It once again, it hung on to the moving averages. And I started to notice that this volume, while it was lower than these red candles, started ticking up right here. I thought, okay, and this and the wick on the bottom of this holding above this moving average. It's like thinking it this just needs to break through VWAP. And I figured it had a chance of going to 200 if it did. So I got in at 199, 198.96, I believe. And I went ahead and my patience and my walk helped me. And I actually held on to this uh, for a long period this afternoon. And I ended up making it through this pullback. I'll show you on the 15 because it's a really long time frame. But there's my entry, 198.96-ish. Um, excuse me. 
here's my entry, 198, 96-ish. And then I got out, it was after one o'clock Eastern because the Fed minutes came out before I got out of the trade. And it eventually actually made the run I was thinking of. Took a partial up here and then it started coming back down and I just, I ended up getting out of it. I, sh I was gonna get out at 200. It got within like 10 cents and then came back down. So I bailed on it uh, and it eventually did the exact move I was thinking of. So still not a perfect trade, but at least my patience at this point, I calmed myself down, got my mind focused again, got back into the game and had a slightly green day. But it, like I said, just over trading at Christmas tree, these charts, it, it was an embarrassing morning. Uh, so, you know, if that ever happens to you, take a break for a little bit, come back. You know, if it would have happened a second time and I would have felt myself doing that, I would have shut it down for the day. But luckily the walk helped a little bit. I still was a little bit, a uh, little bit unfocused, but it was a lot better than how I started. So anyway, trade safe. Thanks for watching. See you in the chat tomorrow morning.